just a little disclaimer in no way am I saying that you guys should be following what I am doing boop, 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 boop. I can't get close to the camera because um, my autofocus is broke so I got to focus for back here I use like a big old tall pile of boxes and bins so here we are <laughs> Today's physique. <laughs> Today's physique update is brought to you by my terribly done eyebrows as well as Einstein. I'm gonna play some non-royalty free music to get me in, in the mood and y'all ain't gonna hear it, but it's Demi Lovato. <laughs> shopping that intro um so today i'm gonna be talking to you guys about my workout schedule my workout split currently oh, let me preface this with i would apologize for my very bare face <sighs> my little bald spots and acne but we're transparent on this channel that's what we're gonna focus on this year transparency but anyways let's get into it by the way today I am joined by none other than pretty kitty <laughs> and Einstein I'm gonna write this in my journal for you guys because I don't have a whiteboard is it just me or does anyone else have to say Wednesday in order to spell it right one thing I would like to apologize for it's my handwriting, but it's like just, it's borderline boy <laughs> penmanship, borderline like the whole bubbly, girly stuff that chicks rock with. <laughs> oh my, why not? <laughs> So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> okay. I have two leg days a week and two upper body days a week. Because we, we like to stay proportioned out here. So for the very basis of it, Mondays and Fridays are my leg days. Then I go, I've been going back and forth on doing every other day working out and then doing a actual schedule so my upper body days vary between Tuesday and Wednesday and then Saturday and Sunday okay but for just the sake of understanding we're just gonna go 
the um, on Tuesday for upper body and Saturday. This schedule is gonna be for my goal of bulking. So keep that in mind. This has this is not gonna be anything pertaining to trying to lean out. So if that is your goal, don't look at this. But if you want to be like more open to the splits, I guess you can. <laughs> you guys can follow me. Okay, so leg days, Mondays and Fridays, upper body days, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Okay, Mondays I work on my quads and my glutes. So on Mondays, I'm focusing on my squat, hip thrusters, and then I'll do an accessory movement. So I'll go squat. And the way I do my compound movements is if I'm gonna be doing heavy squats right after, I like to do some kind of accessory movement, whether it's squat jumps or something that would be like a time under tension workout. You know, I just go, I go back and forth, bequeath, bequeath, <laughs> because I like to do all, like I like to hit every kind of muscle workout that you're supposed to do because for the optimal results of muscle building, you are supposed to do both heavy weight, low rep, and then low weight, heavy rep. Heavy rep. Am I qualified for this? I like to mix high weight with low reps and low weight with high reps for the most optimal muscle building. Okay. And what my workouts will look like, this will go for both uh, upper body and lower body. I like to do three sets, three different kinds of sets. My first one will be more of a compound movement and then supersetted with some kind of accessory exercise. Then my second superset will be focusing on the other muscle group that I want to get into with like supersetted with an accessory exercise. Then my third set will be just accessory work. Okay, so on Tuesdays, that is gonna be my back and shoulder day. So on both of my upper body days, I've been implementing um, shoulder press and I'll superset it straight into a bent over row because I've been just focusing on more like I said, compound movements right now, just getting stronger. Shoulder press. Like my Tuesdays have always been at least back day, back and bicep day, but now it's changed into back and shoulder day. <laughs> so Wednesday or Tuesday will be a rest day. Then Thursday, I like to feel it out, you know, so I can either rest I can go to the gym to get some cardio in. I can stretch and work on mobility. I can do my handstand practice if my arms aren't too sore from Tuesday or Wednesday. Then we move on to Friday. So, so far we've got, I don't know how well you can see this because I don't know exactly where the focus is right now. So I'm just gonna keep it back by my face because that's probably where it is. <laughs> Moving on to Friday. This is my second leg day of the week. And on Fridays, off of the glutes and the hamstrings. I love my Friday workouts. I love my Monday workout. I love leg day. <laughs> but I love upper body day too. So on Fridays, I like to do my focus on deadlift, supersetted with another accessory exercise for that muscle group. And then I'll go to hip thrusters. And then Lately, I've just been super setting my hip thrusters. I'll do my hip thrusters banded and then I'll drop the weight and then go straight into single leg uh, hip thrusters, which has been killer, especially with the band Grace Fits UK band. That's the one I use. 
girl plug you know what I mean what's a girl plug a tampon anyway <laughs> and then after my deadlift and then hip thrusters I'll, I'll go to another superset with um like I said earlier it's gonna be a lower weight higher intensity slash uh reps moving on to Saturday so or Sunday Saturday or Sunday whichever it's gonna be upper body again back to upper body and since on Tuesday I do my back and shoulders I've been going back and forth between starting out with chest press or bench press whichever and I'll go between that one or my usual shoulder press and bent over row one second okay Saturdays are more for either chest shoulders and back mixed with triceps and biceps pretty much just the rest of the upper body that I haven't targeted yet and then Sunday will be another rest day. I'm sorry if this is hard to read, but there you have it. I like to do my handstand and or just any kind of tumbling training one to two times a week just to keep those uh, m that muscle memory alive. And I just enjoy doing that stuff because of my past sports and I, that, it just depends on how hard my upper body day is, how hard my leg day is. Sometimes I'll do it on a Monday, sometimes I'll do it Tuesday, once I do it. can be any time of the week, honestly. Just whenever I'm really feeling it and my wrists aren't shot. As you guys see, we've only got one cardio option on here. <laughs> I used to be so hard on myself about doing cardio and getting it in but uh it, I mean it wasn't without reason though I was in cheerleading for the past four years and being that it was that you compete and perform in a crop top I just felt the constant pressure of having to be leaned down and competition season is winter so I didn't exactly have a time to bulk up the way that I am doing this year or this winter so it is my first year officially bulking and why do I keep saying year it's my first time officially bulking and so far it's going pretty well and like I talked about in my last video I am completely confident and stable in my physique so if I start like right now I've been obviously gaining a layer of fluff which is gonna come with bulking it's not gonna be a problem to me which I am actually so thankful for you know <laughs> can't take it for granted with me only working out four to five times a week, it makes it that much easier for me to be in a caloric surplus because I do struggle with eating in a surplus, especially with being a picky eater and not being in my own household kind of keeps me from being comfortable enough to just take up someone's kitchen <laughs> and cook whatever my heart desires. And I'm also terrible at cooking, so that is a factor. <laughs> it is the middle of the night, and I apologize for the physique update not being as accurate as others would be. But with the way my morning routines go, I am waking up. I have to eat before I go to the gym because otherwise I'll feel sick. And if you're bulking, I just feel like you shouldn't be fasting workouts. You're doing heavy ass workouts, unless you've got like a whole Thanksgiving meal the night before. That's really the only <clears throat> scenario in which I see it being a good idea. I guess like some people might be able to do it, but just for me, it doesn't work. Red so loca, I feel you up, let's have a party. Um, 
As far as my diet plan goes, I don't want to get into that too much at all because I feel like it could be just a bit controversial in terms of people taking other people's macros and everything. But right now I'm not even really tracking my macros. I just know that like before I was at when I first started just to see where I was at. But like I know for sure that I'm at least eating maintenance level and it's always going to be between maintenance level and surplus. I want you all to know that when I was first bul <laughs> planning my bulking, I I got my hip two to four times a week. I don't even do hit. I don't do it. I just decided that I've been so hard on myself with cardio the past three years of my fitness journey that it was time to let my body rest and I'm gonna shock the shit out of it <laughs> when it starts getting warmer. I want to cut, I have it planned for February 1st when I first wrote it down but I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna uh, stretch it out until March just because I know what I'm doing in terms of leaning down. Bulking is definitely the area where I don't have as much knowledge in. As far as experience, you know, I put myself through getting lean. I haven't put myself through getting bulky and getting thick. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching thank you if you stuck around until the end of the video and if you want to hit that subscribe button feel free to and I would really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you have any tips for me tips for other people and if you want to just put an emoji you can do that too because freedom of speech <laughs> until next time guys Archie back.